as we know time and again modern medicine has used treatment modalities and agents to boost one's own immune system to fight diseases one of the striking example is a vaccine so immune system as a part of its normal function can also detect and destroy cancer cells but over time cancer cells also develop ways to evade these systems and reduce the effect efficacy or effectiveness of immune system to curb the growth of cancer so what does immunotherapy do so immunotherapy helps boost the immune system and helps evade these mechanisms by the cancer cells to switch on or turn on the immune system to fight against cancer this is one of the main mechanism which is used in immunotherapy for example immune checkpoint inhibitors other agents which are used are t cell transfer car t cell therapy cancer vaccines and immune system modulators so can these be used in most of the cancers it started off with its use in melanoma which is one of the skin cancers now it is widespread use in lung cancer in liver kidney bladder cervical ovarian and many of the lymphomas too so how effective is immunotherapy or what to expect in immunotherapy during immunotherapy it is possible that the tumors may swell or appear to be bigger on a serial scan however patient may have a clinical benefit so the benefit of immunotherapy is assessed by both clinical as well as serial scans this process this phenomena where the patient derives a clinical benefit despite increase in size as noted by serial scan is called pseudo progression so it has to be assessed by both clinical as well as radiological assessment so success rate in immunotherapy depends upon individual factors cancer type and stage unlike chemotherapy and radiation treatment immunotherapy can produce some durable responses in around 25 to 30% of patients because some tumors are immunogenic and some are not to sum, to sum up immunotherapy uh, the use outreach and the scope is evolving every day it appears to be a very promising and exciting new treatment modality in different types of cancers and it can produce some promising results if used in the right subset of patients